That'll be a five-second call. Violation. On Saturday, they'll face off against Kyle Lowry and the Miami Heat. And then on Monday, they'll be playing against Clint Capella and the Atlanta Hawks. Minute 32 left in the second quarter. Here's Beverly driving in, and he lays it up and in. And the Bucks lead by 11. And, you know, Beverly has great speed. Snake-like in how he slips through the defense on the drive. Portis against Markinen. Parker with a screen. Milwaukee foul. Dwayne Dedman. First personal foul. Second team foul. One oh five left in the second period. Done right side. Five to shoot. Outside Craig. Three pointer. Rebound Milwaukee. Deadman's got five rebounds in the game. Here's Nora. Deadman a screen. Beverly outside. Rebounded by Dunn. Hey, Beverly's going one of five from the field. Dunn outside. Inside. Here's Markkinen. And it's in there. markkinen has got his second basket on the night. And Markkinen is a low down inside close to the bucket. When he's got nice positioning, he's really comfortable inside. And we finished off one half a play. The Bucks on top, up by nine. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow on 2K Sports. Welcome to the 2K Sports Studio. Off the top, let's take a gander at the Players of the Month. And a little known factoid, Mr. O'Neill, or Dr. O'Neill here, earned the fifth most Player of the Month awards all time. Not bad, I played against a lot of legends, but King was not one of them. Yeah, but if, if there's a party for everybody who's going to an NBA championship, I'll be at that party. Now let's talk about this matchup. So far, a good start for the Milwaukee Bucks. They were getting after it on the glass, like wild and They got a nice edge in that department, which has led to this lead. They won the heart and hustle battle in that first half. Now we'll see if they can keep that going. Thanks as always for watching. Let's head back to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the second half. Just joining in, one half is in the books, one half to go. It's been a clinic out there by Giannis Antetokounmpo. And given that he's just delivered a double-double through two quarters, I'm excited to see his stats at the end of the night. Yeah, he's got that locked-in look in his eyes tonight, and he's not going to start taking it easy. I think he's going to be going hard until that final whistle blows. And we played through the first half. Plenty of basketball left in this one. Milwaukee in the lead. Tory Craig out there with Lori Markkinen. Then it's Buddy Heald. Then there's Chris Dunn. And it's Hernan Gomez in at the five. Pass to Middleton. Driving to the basket. Oh, great D that time from Craig. And for the Bucks, Giannis and Portis are in the middle. Holiday and DiVincenzo man the backcourt. And it's Middleton in at the small forward position. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. Yeah, I love that they maintain the defensive energy even when they're behind. Here's Hernan Gomez. Looking for his first basket still in this one. 
to the paint. Here's Markkanen. And you know, Antetokounmpo is really a master at getting a hand up in the face of shooters. Excellent at contesting his shots and uh, really distracts guys when they get into their shooting rhythm. They've got Torrey Craig. Chris Dunn is out there with Buddy Heald. Then it's Laurie Markkinen. And it's Hernan Gomez in at the five down low. And for the Bucks, Holiday and DiVincenzo man the backcourt. Middleton is at three with Giannis in at four. And it's Portis in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Grant, starting your career in the 50s. Oh, you know what I mean. Actually, 90s. Back then, we'd see teams usually score in the 80s and 90s. What do you think of the current scoring? Really, B.A., the 50s? Wow. <laughs> but it's crazy. I mean, back then, yes, every game was in the 80s and 90s. Now everyone averages at least 100 points per game. So I think it's been an, an interesting evolution of the game. And, of course, the fans all love offense. And these players and teams today are providing just that. First one falls for him. That misses, so he splits the free throws. About a minute played here in the second half. Here's Anadokounmpo. The rebound by Markkinen. I wouldn't say that's exactly his spot now. I mean, and you can see why. Back to heel. Outside Craig. Pass to Markkinen. Shoots over DiVincenzo. Markkinen misses. Markkinen has gone 2 of 5 from the field here. Three-pointer is up. Middleton. And that one goes. He's shooting 5 of 9 in this one. Middleton rolling. Not only are the shots continuing to come, most of them are falling, too. Healed against Steven Cento. Markkinen outside. And stolen by Anadokounmpo. And the Bucks pushing it up now. The shot by Holiday. No good. Trying to claw their way back into this. And the best way to do that... Minimize your mistakes and take good shots. Pass to Craig. Now here's Markkinen. Anadokounmpo covering. Milwaukee with the rebound. Anadokounmpo's got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Middleton passes to Anadokounmpo. Looking to get it going. There's the drive. Hernan Gomez with a rebound. Hernan Gomez has got rebound number five here tonight. To the inside, out to heel. Back to Markkinen. Don outside. Four on the clock. Markkinen outside. Here's Hernan Gomez. The rebound by the Bucks. Earlier in the game, they led by 19. Outside Holiday. Pass to DiVincenzo. Beyond the arc. The rebound by Markkinen. Markkinen's got his fourth rebound in this one. Now Hernan Gomez. Up top done. Outside heel. Over Holiday. And it's heel missing. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game has gone. Dante, Let's check in with our reporter, Ali LaForce. This Bucks team is arguably the most talented in franchise history. At the same time, the East has gotten tougher. So the Bucks are looking to improvise. Giannis said, quote, we're getting better. Trying new things, changing our schemes. That's something we think is going to help us. Brian? Using the regular season to experiment, Alley. Interesting. Thank you. Holiday finds Middleton. Over Craig. Middleton, no good. That's the shot they wanted. It just didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. Down low. Hook loose and stolen by Anadokounmpo. In transition, here they come. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. 
first person. Now on Craig. First Chris Middleton, back. a great three-point shooter. At the line, but he's got the a box. deadly mid-range game Middleton. as well, Graham. Middleton is just flat out a shooter. Can pull up from anywhere on the floor. If you give him the mid-range, he'll take it and punish you. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And on many other teams, Chris Middleton would be the star, Clark. But he plays the Robin role pretty well. Hey, I tell you what, VA, there is nothing wrong with being 1A on the marquee when you're playing next to Giannis. He's overshadowed by the media because of Giannis, but his game makes a lot of noise all over the NBA. Both free throws good from Middleton. He's as solid as it gets from the line. 